Our interview with a little boy who was critically injured in horrific attack at the Mall of America in 2019. He and his mother are sharing his remarkable journey from tragedy to recovery. Eva Pilgrim here with the exclusive interview. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, guys. They were celebrating the end of preschool, but Mom Carrie told me she had this weird feeling going into the mall, so she prayed what would seem like a simple prayer, that God would protect her and her son. She says she could never imagine what happened next, but she believes that her son is alive today because God answered that prayer. There's not a day that goes by that I don't look at him in complete awe. This morning for the first time, Carrie Hoffman and her eight year old son Landon are speaking about the day that changed their lives forever. A five year old boy is fighting for his life this morning after a stranger threw him from a balcony. When your friends ask you about what happened to you, what do you tell them? I tell them that it was me that got thrown and they say really and then I show them everything on me and then they believe it and then sometimes like some people don't believe it but I don't care if they do or not. I just care that lots of people do care about me and I care about them too. A stranger came up and was a bit whispering to these two little boys. It happened in a blink of an eye. He snatched him and ran and I was just frozen. Like what? You can't react. It happened so fast and then I screamed no after he was already thrown. Carrie says she immediately ran to then five-year-old Landon. The stores in what is the largest mall in America weren't even open yet, but several nurses happened to be inside, rushing to her side to help. And then the nurses are working at him and they would say, I think we got a heartbeat. And I would say, you bet we got a heartbeat. And they're like, we think he took a breath. And I'm like, yes, he took a breath. Landon was rushed to the pediatric ICU. Carrie staying every night by his side. In those early days, what were you asking God for? Complete healing and restoration. We're walking out here. We're not going to leave here in a wheelchair. He was thrown three stories. I mean, they're not like normal stories in a house. He caught himself. He landed. That's why his arms were broken and his nose was smushed. Then I believe that angels caught him because I prayed for angels coming in there. What did the doctors tell you? All of them. This is a miracle. He should not be here. The man who threw little Landon, 24-year-old Emmanuel Aranda, had previous run-ins at the same mall, including two arrests there in 2015. Aranda was sentenced to 19 years behind bars after pleading guilty to first-degree attempted murder in 2019. The prosecutor reading the family's statement at his sentencing. I refuse to be full of anger and hatred. I refuse to let you take my joy. My sweet, precious baby, my amazing gift from God is going to be okay. You say you forgive him. I think that's something that's really hard for a lot of people to understand. Yes, and I don't believe that forgiveness is a feeling. I think it's a decision that you have to make, and I needed to remove him from my mind. I was in the mode of, we're healing Landon, Landon's living. This has nothing to do with that man. In 2021, the family filed a lawsuit against the mall. At the time, they say Landon's medical bills totaled more than $1.7 million. That suit has since been settled in a confidential agreement. The Mall of America now working with the family to improve safety, saying in a statement, they are jointly pursuing policy changes to existing trespass limits for violent criminals so as to give greater ability to preclude such persons from their premises. Landon spent four months hospitalized, two broken arms, a broken leg, facial fractures, and a brain injury. You're in there just trying to complete your daily task of we're healing this now. His wrists are now healed. His elbows are now healed. Okay, now we healed his leg. It was like what, checking off. It was always a countdown to something, which makes the time go. Landon, you're doing the Landon dance? Yeah. While being in the hospital was difficult, Landon also has many happy memories there. What about the hospital do you remember? Eating the popsicles. Every step of the way, Landon determined to get better. And you think he'll have a completely normal life now? I think he can have the life that he wants to have, yes. Welcome home, Landon. Today, Carrie's prayers for healing have been answered. Landon is an active, excited, soon to be nine-year-old. The dude gave me this, and the dude is at the hospital, and he's um, a guy that he plays bingo. He loves his cat, Joy, and playing hockey. I'm going around these, and you get the puck, and then you score. 
Now, nearly three and a half years later, this family filled with gratitude. These journals from those many tough nights and this scrapbook, a record of what they have been through. I'm so thankful for breath, for life, for heartbeats. It's just, you take those things for granted until they almost got taken away from you. And Carrie told me she wanted to share their story now because she wants people to know they were given this miracle. It has been a long journey to healing, but having him is something she celebrates every day. And guys, the recovery is remarkable. Just this last weekend, he sco scored multiple hat tricks in his <laughs> hockey scrimmage. He told me that Ovechkin is his favorite hockey oh. player. And he is a miracle. He oh. is a miracle. I got so many chills. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's that remarkable that it he is. is where he is today and he's doing as well as he's doing. Thank That's you, great. Brother. Yeah, thank you for bringing thank that you. to us. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.